This computer is $1,000. This computer is $200. They both have i5s, they both have 16 gigabytes of RAM, and they both have solid state drives. So what's the difference here? Obviously the looks, right? This is a gaming one. And this is a computer that's found in a business type of environment. They're usually refurbished. But they are much, much cheaper and there's absolutely nothing wrong with them. However, they are missing one crucial thing that this $1,000 one has. And that is a GPU. But you can't install any type of GPU in it. It has to be a specific type of small form factor, low profile GPU. Let's have a look how to do that. Hello my friends, my name is Irvin, also known as Kobuman. In this video, I will show you how to upgrade a video card on HP G1 or G2 desktop small form factor PC. Once I show you how to upgrade this video card, this will be a huge upgrade for our gaming, especially considering the fact that this computer has an i5-6500 CPU, which is amazing. This way, in order to remove the lid, you just pull on the lever, lift it up, put it aside. Okay, so in order to install a video card, we just kind of have to move this part over here. And don't be afraid to actually pull in, this is actually by design. So if it's a little bit tough at first, just kind of force it through like this. Um, you're not going to break anything, there's no button to press, but you just need a little bit more room to work with. Um, here's our 16 times PCI Express slot, this is what we need. This is a 4 times, if you have to install it in this, it would be okay, you would lose a little bit of performance but still not too bad, right? But this is the one we want, the black one, which is 16 times PCI Express. Now we have this power cable, uh, uh, cable from the power supply we just need to remove. If you just want to slide these off a little bit, you don't actually have to disconnect it, but you can release it like this so you have more room to work with. Next thing we have to make sure is that we get the proper size. You need a low profile video card for this because it's a small form factor uh, computer so we want this one here. This one is too big, this one is just the right size, right? You see the difference? This will not fit because if you if you put it like down like this, there's no way, there's about an inch or so difference, there's no way this will fit in here, right? So we just have to make sure we get the proper low profile card, something like this, right? So the next thing we need to do is actually pop this uh, spacer or uh, separator here and then we're going to pull one of these Preferably this last one here, depending on the shape of your card, but it will be most likely this here part of it, right? So this is just kind of a back plate. And then we're just going to put our video card in here like so. Now let me, uh, I actually for this one, because my video card has actually a little extra here, I'm going to have to unplug my front USB panel connector. So these are basically the front USB connectors, right? So I'm just going to remove this for now and we can replace this back later. All right, just gonna remove this now. Um, also, make sure you, your video card does not extra require an extra power connector. This one has a six pin power connector. So your video card, you know, just make sure it's not like one of, one of these that I have. But if you do, it's not a problem. You can still use it. You just have to make sure you have an adapter that goes with it. Uh, the ones that I will recommend in the description box below will not require this. So you don't have to worry about this at all, right? We just have to make sure that it fits properly, right? Now that we know, we just have to make sure that we align this with our PCI Express slot, which is like that there. So now we got to make sure that our connector here aligns properly with our PCI Express slot. You can see there's a little notch right there just like there, right? So we just have to make sure that's aligned. Um, lastly, real quick, a lot of times there's a little notch in there here that basically helps to keep the this that allows this slot to uh, the back plate to connect underneath here. So make sure you don't force that, otherwise you may be damaging your motherboard. So just be careful if you're don't force anything, right? So so just don't force anything, right? There's the little tab right there, and here's the little notch that we have to make sure we don't uh, that we have to make sure our back plate is inserted in there so don't force anything if you have a little if you're struggling a little bit by you know inserting your video card in there All right and if you want to unplug this cable you can certainly do so so you just make sure you I just like to go underneath it because it saves a little bit of time and then make sure you align it properly to this here All right. just take your time whatever you do take your time don't ever get frustrated whenever dealing with computer components. Make sure it's aligned over 
over the PCI connector right there, right? So make sure we're, we're aligning our notches. And again, take your time. Make sure, don't, don't force nothing. Just make sure it's aligned. So once you know that everything is aligned properly, right? Then you can safely push it down, like so, right? Now our video card is seated in properly and it's locked in by this little tab here. And now that video card is seated in there, all you gotta do is put this flap back on, like so. Now it's fully secured, you're done with this part. And then lastly, don't forget to plug in your front USB panel connector, which is right underneath here. Lastly, a type of video card I actually suggest for this type of computer will be in the description box below as well, which I recommend is NVIDIA GTX. There you have it guys, if you'd like to see more of this video or specifically for this computer on how to install everything else, there will be a link in the description box below. Also there will be a link, thumbnail links at the end of this very video. Thank you so much for watching, share, like with friends, this and that, and I'll see you next time. I wish you best of luck my friends, bye bye. So yes, both of these computers may have similar specs, however, without a GPU, this $200 one won't be even close to as good as this $1,000. But we can change that by quite a bit. We can add a GPU that's going to make it so that we can use it for gaming, 3D editing, or anything else that we want to have fun with to make it a complete budget computer. And there you have it. With this massive upgrade, now you can play video games, do your video editing, your 3D design, or whatever it is that you like to do for a fraction of the cost. All right, guys, I hope you like it. Please take a moment to like this video. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.